Brady Shea had 18 goals in the regular season. Brent Pesci had five. The Devils' defense, a league leading 56 in the regular season, but that's Jordan Stahl beating the youngster Dawson Mercer on the draw. Face off one by New Jersey. It went back to Graves. Then Jarvis got a stick on it. Played it up the wall, and here he comes. Seth Jarvis scores! What a play by Jarvis. He reads the bank pass from Graves to Hughes and then uses his speed advantage to get in front of Graves. Graves isn't going to catch him, and the 21-year-old who really sprung onto the scene last year scores a beauty. It's third of the playoffs. Last year, Rod Brindamore told us they thought they had a player in camp, and then he just never gave them the chance. So Siegenthaler's allowed to stay in the play here without his helmet on. Now when the play breaks, he's got to leave. And he is now leaving, and they score! Martin Nook put it down low. Cook and Yemi was there for the tip. And it continues all Carolina. He's allowed to stay in the play because he's engaged in the play. As soon as he becomes disengaged, he's got to leave. This four-check battle goes on. Kotkaniemi springs the puck loose. And Fost funnels it to the front. Didn't score in 17 regular season games for Carolina. Step on. We'll have to chase it back into the neutral zone. Wood put a little bump into Chatfield. Played ahead by Severson. Now here's Bastion. In alone, and he scores! Nathan Bastion gets New Jersey on the board. It's three to one. Six goals in the regular season, and Miles Wood gets stood up at the blue line by Gostas Bear. Gostas Bear thinks he's got help on the backside when he doesn't from Puya Yarvi. Bastion protects the puck. This is a great finish. And Freddie Anderson, who's done nothing but handle the puck tonight, just the second shot on goal. Can't catch up to Nathan Bastion's first. Tries again, and Tatar missed the net by a healthy margin. Here's a centering pass for Heischer. Off for Tatar. It's free in the crease and shot away. Seconds earlier, and this puck will go through Freddie Anderson, and Martinuk happens to be standing there. And as the puck squirts free, he's the first guy to it. He ices it. Maybe they can get themselves reorganized, but the Devils close again. He's playing against his former team, the Canes, in the playoffs for the third straight year with his third different team. Gets turned over to Natchez. And now Stahl, a follow, turned to the back wall by Vanacek. Jarvis. I don't know if he intentionally fanned, but now he has a man down low. Pesci the wraparound. Another good play defensively for John Marino. Off the goal, a block shot. Here he might save another as Brent Pesci looks for his second. Well, you can't do much on the power play if you don't get set here as the Canes seem halfway between a breakout of carry-in and halfway through dumping it in. And Nate just a lot of room. It comes to Aho and he hit the goal post. Great opportunity. Corral it. Here's the first one. They break in nicely, finally. Jarvis and Natchez, and there's Ajo, beats him clean off the goal post as Vanacek is protecting up high on the glove side. Natchez. It goes back to Burns with help from Jarvis. Ajo to the top of the circle. Jarvis, that one hit a pipe. Low and the blocker off the pipe, and then Jarvis, who's already scored, rings this one. Bouncing puck for Heischer. Heischer powers to the front. And got stopped by Anderson. Devils keep the puck in the zone. Here's Aho. Three on three. Jarvis plays it in behind. Aho tried to center it. Now he does and they score. Brady Shea. Top corner. Four to one. Carolina with 9.43 to go. They led the NHL. 
in goals from the blue line in round one or in the regular season. Brett Pesci scores in the first period. Now Brady Shea zips this by. Brett Pesci scores in the first period. Now Brady Shea zips this by. Playoffs for the 11th time, and every time he's been in the playoffs, he's scored at least one goal. Mercer put it right on, stopped by Anderson. Do you feel that he's got it in him again, or do you try the 33 win Vanacek in game two? Hamilton, his flip block, stall, eyeing an empty net. Stall sends it in behind the net. Dangerous cut toward the net by Pratt. Martin Hook throws it out in front and they score. Yes, for Foss, the empty net goal, and it's 5-1. to one. First, Stahl tried to score in the empty net, and he got denied. And then Martinuk tried to wrap it in, and he got denied. And the third member of the line is just standing there, and that's... Yes, for Faust, and he's like, oh, would you thank you very much. So Faust, third of the playoffs. Win in round two, and then worry about game two. And the question for them, do they have enough offense? Well, they had enough offense to be the second highest point team in the regular season behind Boston. Well, they don't have to score four goals a night. There's the other thing. They just don't give up anything. And it's going to be hard for teams to score more than three goals a night against the Canes. They dictated the play in their style, taking time and space away from Jack Hughes and the Devils and a convincing 5-1 to win in Game 1 for Carolina over New Jersey. Coming up next, Game 1 of the Oilers and the Golden Knights for Ray Ferraro, Emily Kaplan, Sean McDonough. Good night for Brawley. Back to the studio. Here's Bucci. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.